<laughs> we got a new body of work and it's called I'm really bad with these album names. It's called Light of Mine. And the artist is a 2017 XXL freshman. Uh, most of the freshmen from last year, uh, I was anticipating, you know, dominating for the year 27. I'm just playing. I'm not, I didn't think they were going to do shit. But I am surprised that a good portion of them did continue to drop music throughout the months of 2017 and the remainder of 2018. We got projects from XXX, uh, Tactical Nuke. We got projects from uh, Playboy Cardi, Ugly Guy. We got a tape from, we got an album from Amine. So Kyle being one of the few artists uh, freestyle that I really, really did enjoy. I guess you could say I'm somewhat happy that he's finally released a project. During his freestyle last year, he seemed to genuinely be talking about things that he enjoyed during his freestyle. It seemed to just roll off the tongue. Uh, no pun intended, because I know he's got a lisp. But he didn't really seem to be focused on all the over-masculine habits in the rap community. He just seemed to be talking about things that were true to him, and that's why I enjoyed his verse. Also, because he had a nice flow, and uh, his voice was very charismatic. So I guess you could say I'm expecting that here i don't know what exactly i'm gonna get but we're about to find out this is kyle light of mine let's give it a listen first track is called ups and downs highs and lows goods and bads do i become when truly loved my own life like i mean it come on baby say it like you mean it you're gonna oh. be all right babe what is this demon pursuing yeah. What are these feelings you mention? Are you from a different dimension? Oh. My nigga, do you have dementia? Okay. Why is it? I am depressed. I am obsessed with self-deprecating and blaming myself. I'm holding up like this in a Wow. That was surprising. I'm not done with the track, but like, whoa, like, chill. See, I was, I was a little fearful of Kyle becoming like a Chance the Rapper number two because of his happy, more optimistic vibe when it comes to music but he's got his own thing going i put that cutty cd on in my spare time punch walls fucking up my simple bass drops but the beat is just so it's so uh my my conscience oh yeah, god know, don't do this the voice shit. In your head. i'm so mixed on that ending oh my god that was i'm not gonna call it bad it wasn't good now the song structure on its own, I love it. He's very confident within his rapping ability, but he also takes it in other directions as he starts to sing over these layered vocals. I like how like bumpy and bubbly the track is. He speaks about his inspiration from Kid Cudi, which I like because Kid Cudi inspired so many weird, strange kids to start rapping. Uh, track number two, coming, going. Are you coming or going? It's a decent second track. I don't think there's anything major to it. Um, I like previously how Lil Yachty is at the end of the track only because of what I think it could be thematically for the project. Like, I think it could be a, a tie into if this is his light and it's supposed to be leading him somewhere. I don't know. Track number three is Zoom. I don't pass my balance. Any in my hand, I ain't got no time to solve them. To just the child, everything is fine. Hey. I know it's take some Okay. I like this chorus. It's actually a good hook. I guess I like how clean the production on this album so far sounds. I like how Kyle is really utilizing his voice in ways other than just rapping. The amount of singing on this project. Again, I'm not very familiar with Kyle like that. So this is my first time hearing like a full length project from him. So I don't know if he's been doing this for a long time. I think the laid back kind of feeling of these tracks as far as how they appeal sonically could just be like Kyle having the opportunity to deliver more of a message because the production is so minimal. I've heard some of his tracks before and there have been a lot more uh, enhancements to the production, but they kind of sound a little bit more messy. Track number four, Ikuyo. What? I did it on my solo. Remember I was solo. No one wanted photos. Now I'm on the boost to eat at Wendy's. Now we chose the night. It's like I'm I still eat at Wendy's. What are you trying to say? Don't need to borrow us. I mean, all niggas gross. I keep my circle closed. Two chains. Another cheat code feature. So I like this track. I mean, I get it. I only know two Akuyos. One is from an anime and one is a figure skater. 
Um, since there are references like in the beginning where he says or makes reference to like Marshawn Lynch, I would assume it's like an athletic reference. Um, but it also could be an anime reference because he's talking about how he vanquishes all his enemies or his foes. So I don't know for sure. The vibe or the aesthetic that I'm getting from this album so far is Kyle for the most part talking about how things used to be versus how they are right now. It's a very common uh, theme for a lot of people's album when they're first starting out to not go that deep, I guess. It's just I'm hearing the same story from another rapper. And uh, he was perfectly on beat. Every bass drop near the middle portion of that track was beautiful. I loved his rapping on that track. Uh, track number five, we got games on my phone. I got games on my phone. Oh. Shit. What video game sample is this? Yeah, I wanna be like me. Play a little RPG. I wanna, I wanna play with game too. Uh, I need a million things. Oh, this his beat is crazy. RPG. Oh I wanna, my I wanna, I wanna god. Man, he got shit. That's brand new brands, niggas ain't got this. I damn rich nigga out on my trips. I'm about to Tokyo, nigga ain't no drift. Real life story, nigga ain't no skip. I'm thinking about buying cribs for my I hope he's not taking shots at me in Tokyo, cause fuck. You can't respond on this beat. If somebody ethers you with this beat, you just gotta give it up. I wouldn't even try to come back. Or if I did, I'd just remix this beat. This beat is crazy. Oh my god, this is my favorite song! Oh, that's, I like that. I guess what I can get from this track is like he wants to live in a style or, or a frame of mind where the things that he does in these games actually become a reality. Like you don't get the happiness or I guess he doesn't get the happiness or fulfillment that he does in life uh, the way he may get in a game. So that's why he's saying he doesn't want to play the game. He doesn't want to live in a game. He wants to have that enjoyability that he experiences with those games in real life. That's why he says he wants to be like Usher. He wants to rhyme like Buster. That's probably my favorite track. Track number six, Babies featuring Alicia Cara. I've been waiting to hear from you again. Oh, God. Oh, please don't. What? My guy, you not a baby, you a grown ass man. I like their singing though. Singing school. All right, man, I'm not getting down with the point of this track. I get what they're trying to say. Maybe we don't have to put the expectation of the world on us. Maybe because we're at a certain age, we think we're supposed to know so much and we don't actually have to know as much as the world tells us that we have to know, but you're not a fucking baby, okay? You have some knowledge. You have some way of problem solving. This is not a healthy way to go about dealing with issues by saying, maybe I don't need to have the answer. You made a song about being a baby. Track number seven, Open Doors. Only heard light-skinned niggas sing like that. Man, I don't know what it is, bro. It's like girls are just so hard to understand. You, you feel me? <laughs> nah, nigga, when you got something good like that, you gotta appreciate that, bro. The hand, listen more, listen more. For the drinks, I rarely ask for too. My daddy too. But yeah, I'm trying to Treat your girl right, right? Fuck. This is such, you know what, no, actually. I can appreciate where Kyle is going with this because I like that he's shedding light on, you know, treating women better, you know, and appreciating those females. I guess maybe just because I'm older, this just does not, like, man, it sounds cringy. Track number eight, To The Moon. We doing well, yeah. If you couldn't tell, yeah, all my friends buy whips. They say when they see me, they gon' say it twice. Mm, used to star in plays. Mm, a jack of all. So with this track, Kyle, like I said, just confirms that he's got everyone else's story by saying that he's at such a high position and all these people that used to hate on him. Pretty hard to have haters when you're in a spacesuit on the moon and all your haters are dead because of lack of oxygen. I mean, that's what this track is to me. Track number nine, Play With Me featuring Kehlani. <laughs> These tracks, I feel, would have blown up in 2006. The thing is, we've gotten so many of these tracks with this theme of, I've been wasting my time, I need my time back, time is precious, time is valuable, uh, stop playing with me. We've gotten so many tracks since that time period in this way 
that we don't need another one. So I don't feel like this track is gonna go anywhere. I love the overblown grand production of this track and I like Kehlani's vocals, but it's it's another one of those tracks. It's track number 10, Miss Me featuring Khalid. Yeah, but everybody needs somebody sometime. And a little me time in the meantime. I'm been hiding from the truth. Yeah. We've been on a different real way. So I gotta give you a space. I need someone I long for. Um, I, I like this track too in the point of it. Um, not really a big fan of the vocal poppy feeling to it that's been for a majority of this project. I do like that. Um, and I like the fact that, you know, he's acknowledging that he's been neglecting himself uh, to be in this relationship. But now he realizes that he misses himself. He needs to get back to his roots. Uh, track number 11 is Ship Trip. Not much, but I need to. Can't you see that my mood ring is see-through? I don't really get as much love as I need to. I don't really give enough hugs as I need to. Man, I've seen you float. I know you'll swim. Let's play this. I can say about this album is although it's not saying that much lyrically it's a lot better I guess I could say than the average pop trap that you will hear on the radio so even though some of them are poppier I still prefer them over what you would hear on an average radio track and the outro from Lil Yachty just kind of helps explain more of the album like this is pretty much an album that Kyle has created because he's essentially at this point creating his own problems because he's being too hard on himself. Track number 12 is Rodeo. Yeah, it's it's really it's really apparent that he's creating his own issues right now because you you're injecting yourself into a situation that would not cause for you to be included in it you're you're putting yourself in the position to save a female that's down on her luck basically based off who she's trying to portray and you've injected yourself into this situation when you don't need to be mccall is forcing himself into the narrative for no reason by saying he's the one that could pull her out of that situation track number 13 is called it's yours oh. mm. she stop telling you yes Shooter. I wish I had found you sooner. I like Shooter. it. Uh. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over the fence. Blows her a kiss. She opens the door and he doesn't go in. Taking the walls. Finish the mission and get in them draws. His homies is clapping. He gets the walls. I, I did not plan on winning. Uh, shit. I'm just I didn't my plan on winning. Uh, for actually leaving the premises. Oh and my God. This, this was funny. It's cringy, but it's funny. He loses his virginity, and he feels like he just won the highest prize you can win. He's thanking her father for having her, for leaving so he could get his first pair of buns. I like that this track just feels so romantic as he's telling a story. Um, even before that part, though, I can't get down with the shaking the wall. Like, it just sounds weird coming from Kyle. I just, I, can, I cannot, I cannot and would not want to imagine. And track number 14 is called Cloud. Waking up inside my bed, looking around at all I had. The only thing named at the ground, I forgot the world and clouds. No, it took me some time, but I'm the man inside my house. I'm better than I think. I'm stronger than I know. And I find it when I open. I really do enjoy how grand this track specifically sounds. It sounds really natural and vibrant, like he's traveling through the sky and he's finally seeing everything that he's done. Uh, I've already heard I Spy that features Yachty, which I think is a thematic way to close the album out, but I guess my, my thoughts on this album are as follows. Kyle, I just don't think is, I think he's a decent singer. I think he's a good enough singer to carry an album all the way through, even featureless. I do think that's possible. The bad thing about this album is the poor writing, because although some of it is sounds great, um, some of the material and his flow and, and just him as an artist is, is decent enough to get you through the tracks, some of the writing choices are just really really poor and bare and very surface level and very uh repetitive as far as what other tracks in the past 10 years have already discussed time and time and time again i'm glad kyle is sticking to being his own person but one of the negative things about this album is the fact that 
it could have easily been written by a 16 or a 17 year old kid. Why you at 25 years old are talking about losing your virginity still, I won't know. And I'm not 100% like wholeheartedly judging it based off of like the rap genre specifications because I know that this is obviously a pop kind of sound. Most of the tracks sound really poppy. Most of the tracks sound really happy. I'm not going against that. I guess I see less of a point to this album and its concept when you understand that Kyle not only is not speaking from a very unique or underappreciated uh, point of view, the way he's describing that point of view is extremely basic and at some points just really cringy. Like the track with Alicia Cara where he limits his problem solving abilities to maybe I shouldn't solve them at all because maybe we should communicate like babies. I feel like I enjoy the first part of this more because it seems like he's genuinely talking about things that interest him and things that stay true to him and things that uh, that that make Kyle Kyle but then we get to a point where he's literally injecting himself into situations that don't actually cause for him to be involved in them or giving very PC level responses to situations that we've already accepted should be the norm I feel like Kyle just unintentionally made an album where he made problems so that he could address them on an album you get to the full concept and point of the album it's mostly about Kyle coming to grips with the fact that he just needs to love himself more, which I am completely fine with, but after you've explained why you had such self-deprecating thoughts to begin with, yes, Kyle in this album says he's insecure, but doesn't explain why. It seems that at any point, like on the opening track where we're supposed to get information into who Kyle is, he just turns it around and says, oh, no, I'm a rap about something else. I guess that could be to shield himself from letting people in, but this is your album. And that's not to say that there isn't a good amount to enjoy on this project. I love the way it sounds sonically, and I like Kyle's flow on majority of these tracks. If it were for just a change in concept and in lyrics, with a more cohesive point to the album itself, an album where it doesn't feel like Kyle is purposely putting himself in these situations just so he can have a song to talk about it. I like the album for his catchiness. Uh, he has a great singing voice in my opinion. I just don't think the album really does anything in terms of my information on Kyle. But that's just me. Um, Kyle, light of mine. That's how I'm feeling on it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know how you felt about this album in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your opinion, especially on that games track. But it's been me. It's been real. Appreciate you for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.